we didn't have to wait three weeks for installation and saved a thousand dollars in installation fee by installing our cruise control on our Ford Transit by ourselves. We are going to be installing a cruise control unit on a 2017 Ford Transit 250 today. I got this kit online. Look at the description below for a link. First thing we'll do, open up the package. This unit itself has a good 36 month limited warranty or 36,000 miles. The good thing about this kit is it does actually come with quite detailed instructions for you when you're planning to install this for yourself. This is great for reference later on. Uh, we will be using these instructions for our install. The battery is located right underneath the driver's seat. I find it easiest to access it by pulling the driver's seat up and taking the black negative terminal up. This will ensure that we won't have any connection issues or short circuits while we're installing our cruise control. It's an important step in our installation here. The second step to this will be to take all of this paneling off so we can access the controls. For me, I have this. You all probably won't have this, but it is my Renogy battery charger. What I use to control when I'm driving the vehicle to charge my external battery. Yeah, so I'm taking it off so I can access any wires that's needed in here. We are gonna need to take this unit off here so that we can install the cruise control right here afterwards. So let's go ahead and do that. It does require a T25 star bit. So make sure you have that in your tool set and you'll be able to um, take off two of these screws, one at the top here and one at the bottom, and try to leverage this plastic piece off. So after muddling with it for a bit, I didn't want to break anything. Luckily I had one of these tools. I'm gonna try to get it into the seam here and see if I can pull it out. There are plastic versions, that will be a lot better. You won't scratch any plastic pieces, but this is all I got, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do it. Using that tool, you can see that the mounts are coming out nicely. All right. So as you can see, there are these that hold it together. So for those taking it off, you'll see it. See where all the clips are. So here's the control unit for setting and turning it on and off the cruise. Thinking it should go around this area here, then the wires can stay in. I'm gonna use the cover again. I'm gonna mark it with a pencil and kind of just set it in place so I can I'm be done with this piece. All right, so next step, I got my 3 8 drill bit here to get the same circumference as this and drill a hole where we marked it and put this on there. It's actually a little lever piece here, so it fits in nicely at an angle for you when you drive. Um, that's how that works out. Always refer back to your instructions if you're not sure. Looks like the lever wedge actually goes on the inside. There's one more on the outside there. There's, there's two pieces. This is the first. This is the this is the second piece here. So we'll be taking on that, the washer, and the lever piece.
we just took these three, the lever, the washer, and the nut off, and fed the cruise control unit in, and we'll make finer adjustments once it is in the vehicle there to see at what angle we like this. Good. Following the instructions, it's telling me to connect the accelerator pedals with the control unit here. So let's go ahead and do that. The old instructions actually tell you to cut and split this wire, um, but this isn't needed anymore with the new kits. They actually come pre-wired with that. So no more splicing the wire and having to cut it. So we'll go ahead and just connect that right to the end there as the instructor said. So the next steps here are to connect our OBD2 connector in. So our kit comes with this and I believe it should just fit. Um, this is the connector there. It did say in our instructions to have to remove a tab, but luckily mine. I think I can just connect that right in. So let's give it a go here. Let's try this. Actually, I think it's this side here. Should connect it the right way. Awesome. That just fit right in. This white one is supposed to replace this. And this connects to that. So we actually need to push the pins on both sides here and then push this white one into place. to connect the pedal connectors here. I'm hooking this one way back here. Now, let's get that off and then hook both of these on. Keeping in mind where all the wires are going and keeping it neat at the end will be good. All right, we're gonna take the pedal off. Pedal plug off. Plug it into this end. Nice click. Now we're gonna insert this one back onto the pedal. Nice click sound. <clears throat> Clean off the wires later. This red one, we're gonna have to put into the ignition wire on the steering wheel. So let's keep that one free and wire it up. Clean up these wires as, as we go. Um, probably at the end so we know where to mount this unit as well as this brown and yellow wire is what we need to tap into. So let's see if we can get this out here. Sorry when you're doing with one hand. I'm just gonna take it off and start again. There's a little tab that we can push. This whole unit comes off. Now it's easier for us to access and tap into this wire. This wire needs to be connected with the wire that has a fuse. The end looks like that. I'm not great at soldering so I purchased these connectors that eliminates me from having to splice the wire and have to solder it. So I'm planning to use this with my ignition cable connecting the red wire. We'll see how it works. Uh, let's just make sure there's enough room for it. I always like to tape it up for safety measure just in case this looks good to me. And we will plug it right back in. Alright so the next thing we're gonna be setting up is these wires here. The kit comes with these adapters. They actually would label one, two, three. As well as this connector here is label one, two, and three. On our steering wheel wires. So this cruise control that we did earlier into here to match with our diagram. Let's take a look here. Black wire, this one. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So this is how this side goes. And this side, it's yellow, black, purple, and then red, purple. So we have it lined up exactly like our diagram. And now we will just push these pins in to our adapter here to match accordingly. From this side, it will be black, red, blue for our connectors. 
And this side will be green, yellow, brown. When you're doing these pins, make sure you're pushing them in so they click. Just pushing them in is not enough. You should hear a click like this. Now it's good. So we're all good. Once we have the steering wheel plate back in, we can plug these in and plug into our unit. Then we're all set. drive. Before we do that though, we're going to connect back up our battery. If you made it this far in the video, consider subscribing and liking my video. Leave a comment below if you found it helpful, and thank you for watching.